This is a vlog. We are on the steps of the Toledo Art Museum and there's not an artist in there who didn't have passion for what they did. I end almost all my videos with this phrase. Stay passionate and make something. Stay passionate and make something. Be passionate and make something. Stay passionate and make something. Today's vlog is a reaction to Mike Rowe's video titled, Don't Follow Your Passion. Uh, this came out last week and it's an excellent video. So I highly encourage you to stop watching this video right now and check out Mike Rowe's video. There'll be a link somewhere on the screen and down below. Go. So I know some of you are not going to stop this video to go check out Mike's video. So here is a shortened version of his video. You have all been given some terrible advice. Follow your passion. Don't let anyone tell you that you don't have what it takes, kid. And the ever popular, never give up on your dreams. Who tells a stranger to never give up on their dreams without even knowing what it is they're dreaming? If we're talking about your hobby, by all means, let your passion lead you. But when it comes to making a living, just because you're passionate about something doesn't mean you won't suck at it. Dream jobs are usually just that, dreams. But their imaginary existence just might keep you from exploring careers that offer a legitimate chance to perform meaningful work. A multimillionaire who told me the secret to his success. I looked around to see where everyone else was headed, he said, and then I went the opposite way. Then I got good at my work. Then I began to prosper. And then one day I realized I was passionate about other people's crap. When people follow their passion, hmm. they miss out on all kinds of opportunities they didn't even know existed. And while passion is way too important to be without, it is way too fickle to follow around. Never follow your passion, but always bring it with you. Please do yourself a favor and go watch the full video to get the full effect. He makes some great points and I don't necessarily disagree with what he's saying, but I don't necessarily agree with what he's saying as well. And he's a very smart man and I love what he does. He's all about the, the working man and there's not enough people that stand up for the working man. So I really love what he does. But to say don't follow your passion is such a strange thing to say, right? Because I follow my passion and now I do what I want. The byproduct of passion is hard work and hard work trumps talent. Yes, you should be following your passion, but you should also be using your brain. Don't allow your passion to take you down the wrong path where it might set you up for failure or it might set you up to be broke or just put you in a bad position in life. So you have to use your brain. Sometimes you have to call an audible, right? And you, you have to pivot and make that, make that change. Your passion should be evolving as you evolve. And my passion has changed many times. We talked about this a couple of vlogs ago where I've changed careers like four or five times. And that's just because I allowed my passion to change. My passion was for a long time music. And you know what? I wasn't going to make a living off of music. And then my passion was web development. And I was really passionate about web development for a long time. And then I got passionate about woodworking. And then I got passionate about making videos. And that's where I am now. I allowed my passion to evolve and I turned it into a career. Your passion doesn't have to be a career. It can just be a hobby. It can just be something to do for fun. But uh, I just, it's, it's really important that you do follow your passion because I think the goal in life is not to be successful at your career or to make a lot of money, but the goal is to be happy, right? And so following your passion tends to make you happy unless you keep failing and then you need to, as we discussed earlier, you need to make that pivot. You need to adjust your passion. Passion and goals uh, are go, go along the same lines. Like goals should never be this, this solid concrete thing. It should be evolving and it should always push you forward. As you move forward, you need to push your goals forward. And just as you move forward, you need to push your, your passions forward. And so passion leads to hard work. Hard work trumps talent. Right now, my number one passion in the world is making videos. It is just something I absolutely love. If this was not a career, I'm pretty sure I'd still be making videos because I'm crazy passionate about that. We're gonna continue this conversation over on Patreon. My Patreon subscribers get the extended vlog every week. And if you wanna learn how to become a Patreon member, there'll be a link 
down below. So as always, be passionate and make something.